Hello again. This is uh, Mark again. We're, we've we've gotten a few videos down yet, but I'm still need to get this layout stuff going. So um, this is again the RP2040. I haven't started on the layout. This is the random order of things just being placed on the board uh, directly. And I've got a few things that need to go in a couple of places. And, you know, I haven't decided a lot of stuff. I was thinking about doing a, a kind of a round board so I could uh, put it in a specific package. Um, I've got a display that I want to put on there that's, that's got its limitations. Um, uh, got a little display. It's actually the same pinout as a slightly smaller one. Um, so I haven't decided which one I want to put on there yet, and I may, I may just see how small I can make things, and then um, we'll see how we go from there. But I was going to do round with kind of a flat piece on the bottom, because where the USB connector goes, we kind of have to have a flat edge. We kind of want to have a flat edge. I suppose we can avoid it. So I'm going to just zoom out here and just go off to the side a little bit, and I'm going to set the snap up uh, quite large, and... Uh, you know, I was playing with this earlier, and I'm going to set it, you know, massive. This is this is five millimeters per snap per snap, and um, I'm going to just go off to the side of the components a little bit here. You know, I can actually just move the components over just a little bit, snag them all, move them over. Okay, and then I'm going to hit the escape a couple times. I want to do this is the edge cuts layer, so there edge cuts that's the shape of our board and I'm going to do a flat line and I'm going to make it um, um, let's see here if I pick that as my center um, I'm going to oh let's see here do I, how do I want to do this I'm not sure I'm going to put something in here and then erase it later but this is um, I want to do a circle Okay, so that's the center of my circle. I'm going to erase that in a moment, but I just wanted something reference for that. And I'm going to just do a flat line. Uh, let's go 15 millimeters each side. Um, let me go to millimeters for the moment. I jump back and forth on these dimensions. So I want to come from here and go to there. Okay, so that's my flat. It's going to be the bottom of my board. And I want to do an arch. And first we pick the center. And then I pick that one. And then I do that one. Okay. So my goal would be is I want everything in here to fit in here. You know, it'll be close. Okay. So now that I know where the center is, let me just get rid of this for the moment again. And now my grid's way too big to do anything. So let me go back down and just put that tiny. Uh, we'll just set really small so we can move things where we want them. Um, we'll take care of the parts that we need to fix first. Um, we've got this USB connector here. Um, this guy. And um, that needs to be on, on the board. And let me zoom out, zoom in. Okay. Notice that it says PCB edge with a line underneath it. That really is the edge of the PC board is where that has to go. So I want that right on the edge. And I just need it in far enough where I can clear things. Okay, so there's my first part. We're going to spend a lot of time just moving parts around without even putting traces on them. Because, you know, that's really how things have to go. Um, some of my notes out here. Okay, so the next thing we need is um, we're just going to work our way around a little bit the, the bigger parts that, that have to go in. I'm going to take the, uh, this is U2, this is the, uh, the voltage regulator. And the only place it really goes is it really connects to the 5 volts coming in off the outside world. So that's going to go in here somewhere. Um, now, when I put buttons on this thing, I've got three buttons. One of them is that uh, on the RP2040, you've got a, a, a boot mode button, and you hold that down while you plug in the USB to get it into uh, bootloader mode. And that's my first switch. That's SW1. So, you know, that's going to go in one spot, but I've got SW2 and SW3 that are going to be 
while I'm using this device is where I want them. So I actually want those clear off on the edge so they, they stay out of the way of the display. And, you know, I may, you know, I'll just keep moving things around here until I get kind of what I want. And as I said, you really want to spend a lot of time getting this the way you need it. Now I may actually put these at the same elevation eventually once I figure out what that is. Um, okay, the display connector. Um, what I want to do is, is I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the display and I know what the pin order is and the ground is on the left um, of those four pins. I mean, if we go to the schematic, uh, display is right here. So pin one is ground and I need that to be to the left so the display is hanging over the PC board and not hanging out into midair. So the display connector is this one. And I'm going to rotate that. And I'm going to put that clear up at the top. And I should probably figure out where center is. You know, maybe I, maybe I won't. Um, we'll just see. Okay. So that kind of that sets a few of the parts that have to go in certain spots. Everything else I can just put in places as they fit. Um, we can take our other switch and, you know, if I really want this to be fitting, I mean, rotate only gives me that 45 degree thing. And um, if I just type an E key, let me hit a couple of escapes, put the mouse on it and hit E, um, I can actually say angle, um, oh, that's the pad itself. I want the whole device. There we go. Footprint properties. I mean, we've got these angles. I can just say other, and I could say 45. Yeah, it's either going to go plus or minus 45, because I, I want it to fit into this spot without taking up a lot of room. So I can move that into here. Now, I, I just kind of need to keep these boundaries on the inside and even hanging in them out over the edge won't hurt me that much. So, okay, so there's that. Now, we've got a few other parts. I'm not sure, I mean, this, this regulator down here, there's the five volts. Five volts comes in on this pin down here. I've got a couple of resistors that need to come in. Um, we'll move it out just a little bit. Okay. Let me just keep moving parts in. Um, you know, we've got the, the processor. That's a big part. It's got lots and lots and lots of wires. So we'll just throw that in here. Now this other part that I kind of want to pick the direct placement of is this is a, um, an IRDA interface that I want to play with. And uh, I've used it on other projects before and I kind of want it to face forward. So it really needs to go in this orientation. And I kind of want it where the display is, but I, I mean, I can't have them both there. So let's, let me just, let me just put it up right up next to the edge here. Round is not always the, the way we want things, but you know, it's okay. So that looks fine. Let's take the other big parts. This is the this is the memory chip. And you can see that it's it's got lots of connections to the I'm watching the rat's nest wires and I'm trying to make sure that I place this in orientation where I think I can get all the wires where I want them. And you know, I can I can move this over here, I think, without too much trouble. Okay, let me go back to full size. Let me get some of these parts. Let me just move the block closer. That way when I zoom full scale, it... it... Okay. Okay, so the other big part is this J2. And what the heck I do with J2? Um, oh, that's the, the programming pins. Okay, those are mostly on the bottom here. 
And it looks like something's going to cross no matter what I do. But I can put those just about anywhere. Let's, um, let me just put those, let me put it over here. I may not ever use them. Okay, um, U5, that's the accelerometer. That sucker is going to be hard to solder down, but I'll, I'll manage. Okay, and that will, you know, I'm using the I2C interface on that, and it's going to be using the same I2C interface as the display. So there's going to be a couple wires in common with the display on this one. So we're just going to put it up there. Okay, so we're, we're, we're adding parts. Okay, so now we've got a crystal. Let's get that someplace. As I get it close, oh, that goes down here too. So what I may do is I may want to put that. Let's see, those goes to those two pins. Oh, and I got the, the thing that's trying to, as more rats nest off to the side, has to do with uh, the capacitors for it. So let me move this guy over a little bit because I think that'll be easier just to move him over. Now there's two caps that are 15 picofarads that go with this crystal. Here's one of them. That goes to that side. So let me rotate this in such a way. You know, I bet if I put this here and move the crystal just up above it here. And then I need to find that other 15 picofarad cap. There it is. And, you know, if I rotate that twice, that'll put the ground legs near each other. Let me just put that right there. Okay. So we're starting to make a dent in things. Now we've got a couple of LEDs that we're putting on this board. Um, let's see, how many LEDs did I put on here? Um, there's two of them on D1 and D2. Okay. And I'm, I'm more concerned about where I put the LEDs. Let's put one on each side. And I'm going to rotate that because I want it pretty close to the edge. You know, I could make that another 45 degree item. Uh, it's 45 the wrong way, but if I do a, a rotate button, we can get it there. And I get this pretty close to that IRDA part. I may have to flip it when I actually put wires on it, but we'll see. Okay. Now I want the uh, the other LED I'd like to put on the other side. No, I'm going to move that again. I'm going to, I'm not, this is, this is the, let me just go back to zero here. Let me just put them by the buttons. And then there's another are somethings here it is and I want to put it up here okay now each of those LEDs has a resistor a 1k and those are going to be um, that's R5 and R8 so this will be one of them and you can sail by the rat's nest wires. That goes clear over to here. And if I rotate it, I can just drop it into here. And then R8. C9, that's R4, R3, R2, R7. There it is, R8. And that one goes to this one. I'm going to rotate it. Set it out here. I'm going to take this guy and rotate it around because that makes the wire shorter to that. Okay. 
Well, it looks like it's all going to fit okay. There's an awful lot of pieces to go yet. We've got... Um, okay, so um, test points. Where the heck did I put my test points? Um, I put in test points because I wanted places to just attach wires if I really wanted to. And one of them comes in here. So I'm just going to... They don't take up any space on the board, per se. They're really pretty small. And these come into the accelerometer. So we'll just do that. And I just keep working this down. You know, I've still got quite a bit of space in here for, for parts. Um, we've got a pair of 27 ohm resistors that come off the USB. Let's get those in here. So that could probably go in here. And the other one, you know, these labels are all on top of each other. Let me go back to the objects over here, and I can, I do want the reference, the values. No, I don't really need the values. And then pads, zones, tracks, I want all that footprint text. There we go. I kind of... <laughs> Oh, I see. It does all those. Okay, so I do want the reference. I'd like to get those numericals out of there, too, but I don't think I can do that. Okay. You know, that makes it a little better, but I don't... It's still showing me the... Oh, that's only of the one selected. Okay. So there's those two. I might have to swap... swap. No, they look fine. Okay. So where are we at? I've got... Capacitors that go around the microcontroller. So we've got uh, C6. And if I just look at that, let's zoom in. One side's ground. And there's the 1.1 volt. Let me let me rotate those around so the, you know, we're just going to try to get them close. Um, I've got R4 and C7. R4 and C7. Okay, that comes into here somewhere. C7 is this one. And again, I just want these courtyards to not quite touch. And this, this comes in really close. Okay, let's zoom back out. Um, on the regulator, we have a couple of... Uh, capacitors. Um, I've got one on the input that's C1. That's this guy. And that's on the 5 volt side. We can just drop him right in here. And then uh, on the output side, I want that C4. I want it to be really pretty close to the regulator output. And that's the 3.3 line. So let me just rotate this into here. Okay. Well, we're down to uh, nine more parts. Um, let's see. C5. And it comes over here. Let's, let's see. What do we got on there? It's the 3.3 volts to ground. And we've got that right off of pin 33 on my schematic. And I think I want to probably put it pretty close to that. 33 is right there. So let me just rotate this. And let me just drop it in there. Um, R3 is, um, that's the pull up on the run line. So that actually goes to pin 26 on the micro. There's the run line is in is right in there. So we want this to be here and the 3.3 volts can go anywhere nearby. So just need to get this off to the side a little bit. Okay, back out. R6, where is R6? Um, 
those come off of the, um, that's off of switch one. So we'll bring that over here. And I may move that stuff around a little bit. And then uh, R7 is also off that memory chip that's over here. So let me just throw it, throw it here for a moment. We'll probably move it around a bit, as I said. Um, I've put a bypass cap right there on the memory chip. That's on C8, and we want that over here somewhere. I want C9. Where did I put C9? C9 goes by the IRDA interface. That's this guy. Um, we've got the R9 and R10 are pull-ups on the IRDA interface, so they just need to go in here someplace, or on the uh, S, uh, I squared C interface. So they'll go in here, and then I've got R11 and R12, and uh, where did I put R11 and R12? Those are also, uh, oh, those are on the buttons, okay. Those are the pull-up resistors on the buttons. So we could put one of them, put one of them here. And this one will go down here someplace. Okay, I'd like it to go in here. I'll move that around, okay. So let me fix that. Let me just take this and say move, and let me just move it over a little bit. Move this one to get off of the edge. And rotate twice, because I know it needs to go the other way. Um, that five volt line, let's just bring this down and take this. And just put it over here like this. Okay. Okay, so this is a tentative layout of, of where I'll put the parts. Now, I will adjust parts as I go along in the final version, but, you know, this is a good starting point. And, you know, I'll probably start in the lower left corner and just kind of work my way through or start at the micro and work my way out and kind of work it that way. And as long as I take care of all the rat's nests as I go, it, it should be fine. Let me save my work. And I'm going to break the video here, and uh, we'll start it again uh, in a few moments.